guys, Red Hanya here. Thanks for tuning in for another Safari LTD Carnegie figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Tylosaurus from the Carnegie line. This figure is from 2008. Let's get the package open. As always, be careful when using sharp objects and or knives, scissors, or whatever to open up your figures and stuff. Don't want to have any accidents. And here's the figure. Really gorgeous looking figure by Safari LTD. Comes with this plastic bottom that he just kind of rests on. It's uh, kind of just uh, helping from not being warped in anything during shipping. Kind of just sits on it. That comes off. And then we just got the figure itself as a whole. Carnegie Tylosaurus 2008 Miami, Florida. 113. He's got his tag right here on his front flipper. Tylosaurus. Three and up. So this guy used to live in the oceans during the late Cretaceous period and grew anywhere from 50, 49 to 50 plus feet long. Safari really nailed the mouth on this figure. Uh, I really like it. Now, what, some of the main difference between this Tylosaurus and the Papo Tylosaurus is more so the colors. The colors on this one looking more somewhat... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's got like... This Tylosaurus has more of that tanny, goldy color on him with the white underbottom and then black on the top with these stripes, but it looks really awesome the way the stripes are on the top of this figure. Really nice looking. Each tooth is individually carved in right there, really nice looking, even the tongue. I really like this model by Safari of the Tylosaurus. It's a really cool model. Being it's not extremely huge, but Pretty decent amount of detail around the entire figure, all the way down to the end of the tail. So while this Tylosaurus and the Papotylosaurus aren't really far off when it comes to detail and stuff, more so just being the colors on this one have that white and the tanny color, the Papo one's more that realistic crocodile looking skin color. This is a really nice Tylosaurus model, and considering it shouldn't be extremely expensive to find, whether it's new or used, you should definitely give him a look if you like all the other safari dinosaurs. He shouldn't be extremely expensive, and he's made, since this is a water reptile, or water prehistoric animal from the safari line, just like the Papa figures too, his skin is really... As you can see it's really soft and doesn't really have many uh, imperfections in it. So it's really soft, giving it almost like it's like a water animal. Really nice. I enjoy it. He sits right up with the Chronosaurus from the same line extremely well. It's kind of in that facing that way position, almost as it's like swimming. Again, Safari does it again. This Tylosaurus actually almost rivals the Papo Tylosaurus for the time being because this one doesn't have any articulation anywhere. But it doesn't really take away from this figure that it doesn't have any articulation. It's still a really nice looking Tylosaurus figure or model. And I really do enjoy the colors on it a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my look here of this figure. Thumbs up the video if you have this or if you're looking to get this Tylosaurus. And post a comment and tell me what you think. Do you think it rivals the Papo Tylosaurus? Or do you think the Papo Tylosaurus is better than this one? Post in the comments. I will be reading. Thanks for tuning in here. I'm sorry I got this video up a little late, everyone. But I was busy yesterday on Sunday, so I didn't have time to... There'll be new videos coming this weekend, so uh, check back again Friday. Until then, everyone have a great week. Take care, and I will be seeing you all in the next video review. Goodbye.